Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time, once again, we're going to be talking about the SAM 5 and specifically the setup that I had for Kalashnikon. Now, I've already done an overview video of Kalashnikon. If you guys are interested in seeing what it's all about, I'll have a link to that at the end of this video and uh, also down in the pinned comment as well. If you guys would like to support the channel, a great way to do that is head on over to Ballistic Inc and check out the merch that I have in my merch store. Uh, this is one of the shirts that I've got and I've got an AK bolt face as well with the Fit and Fire kettlebell in there. I really love that shirt and uh, hope you guys enjoy those as well. Link down in the pinned comment also. So let's get into it. This time we're going to be talking about the SAM 5, but specifically I wanted to talk about the Primary Arms Micro Prism Optic. This is something that I was really excited to see how well it would work, and to be frankly honest with you, it did not disappoint. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, did I do what I was supposed to do at the competition on Saturday? Absolutely not. I did not. <laughs> I really messed up time and time again when I had a, an opportunity to really shine. I just fumbled it and, you know, tripped over myself and, oh man, I made myself look really, really bad. Overall, out of 105 shooters on Saturday, I ended up placing 61st. And to be honest with you, I was really down on myself. But Talking with my good buddy, MK, uh, he and I have been friends for a number of years and, and he's he's been really good at kind of leveling me out and making me see things from different perspectives. Really looked at Saturday as a dress rehearsal for Sunday and that was one of the reasons why I didn't switch from the SAM 5 to the PSA 103 with the Midwest Industries Alpha Series on it. I really wanted to make sure I took the time to uh, really run all of the issues out as best as possible using the SAM 5 micro prism setup. And uh, we're going to get into a lot of the different things that I found. Let's talk about the first thing with this particular setup. and. Um, the first thing that a lot of people always have a question about, especially when it comes to magnified optics, is what is the eye box like? And I can honestly tell you, I did not have any concerns about that Saturday or Sunday. Previously, I had tried to run an LPVO with this SAM 5 and I just could not get the eye box correct. A lot of you suggested that I get rid of the standard stock and use like an M4 style stock and that's actually a good idea. But to be frankly honest with you, the length of pull with this particular stock fits me perfectly. And, and I like how I'm able to get in real tight behind the optic. And um, I can tell you that this particular setup with the RS Regulate Rear Justified uh, ACOG mount that is connected to the AK302M side mount as well. And let me tell you, this particular setup is perfect. There may have been one or two instances where I kind of made a little bit of adjustment on my eye box and uh, my sight picture. But to be frankly honest with you, throughout the two days, I never once um, stopped and said, man, I'm really struggling here. To include one of the stages, which is the last stage of day two, where you not only had to shoot from either kneeling or like a bent over position, but you also had to get down into a prone position as well. Uh, four shooting positions, three targets with two rounds on each target. So if you ran it clean, it was 24 rounds. I finished it in 29 rounds, which was really cool. <laughs> had one round to spare. And if I had to switch magazines and I had to show clear, put the rifle to the left or right of the barrier, run back to the starting position to reload and then continue to shoot the, um, the stage. I didn't have to do that. So I was really, <laughs> really happy there. But 
One of the areas that I did struggle with this optic, and it's nothing to do with the optic, but rather my experience in shooting a fixed powered optic was in kind of the shoot house or quote unquote, the CQB style shooting where you're shooting at targets, you know, three, five, maybe seven yards away. Uh, in the shoot house particular, I do remember having to pull away from the optic to look at the targets and then try to get in back behind it to understand where I was actually aiming because those targets were so close. There is a method called the Biden method where you shoot with both eyes open and the reticle transfixes over onto your non-shooting or non-dominant eye to give you that bigger, wider field of view and help you fight through that magnification. And I did try to use that, but in the heat of the battle, things just kind of get mixed up a little bit and it didn't really work out so well. On Saturday, right after the shoot house, you also had to jump into shooting baseballs off of pool noodles. And I didn't quite understand how to shoot this particular setup with the offset, you know, the reticle being so high off of the barrel and it also being a fixed magnification. Normally with like a red dot, I can just kind of guess, okay, I need to have, I need to be, you know, a few inches above the target and I'm good to go. But when you add that magnification to it, it really kind of messed with my head a little bit. So I struggled on Saturday to try to get, uh, Baseballs knocked off the pool noodles with the rifle and then once I switched over to the pistol, you know, I kind of struggled as well, but The second day is where I really figured it out Understanding everything that I learned from Saturday applying it to Sunday What I found was that if I used the 600 yard aiming point in the ACSS Raptor reticle that that would give me enough offset that I could get some hits on target especially with those baseballs on the pool noodles, but also in the shoot house, I was putting rounds right next to each other as well, shooting uh, pretty quick, not fast by any means, but for me, pretty quick. Now I wanted to take some time to really talk about where this setup shined. And that was stage one of day two or on Sunday, uh, we had to shoot 600 yards and the stage was set up to where you had 10 targets, uh, where you had one target at 200, five targets at 300, which included a moving target. And then the rest of the targets were at 400, 500, 550 and 600 yards. Now I did try to run it on my first attempt, but unfortunately the SAM-5 had some type of malfunction that jammed the action open. I'm not exactly sure what happened, what, but what I can tell you is that I had to um, basically use the shooting position as kind of a kickstart for the charging handle to break that action free and to get the uh, rifle unloaded to be able to pull off. Now in those types of situations, the match director will allow you to reshoot once you're able to solve the problem. You're pulled off, you can you know, diagnose what's going on, fix it if you can, and then reshoot if you're able to. I was able to, but I had already used a lot of my premium ammunition that I had brought along for that particular stage. The ammunition that I was using was the AAC 77 grain OTB bullets. And um, like I said, I had already used the majority of what I had brought with me that was zeroed to this rifle. Everything was set up perfectly with the BDC. I followed all of the directions on how to set up the bullet weight and the velocities to this reticle and I had verified it at 300 and 450 yards, I was on target, no problem. But after blowing through the first uh, half of my ammo, I didn't know what I was going to do. Luckily enough for me, Jim from Texas Kalashnikov, uh, he runs the events down in Texas. He was able to hook me up with some AAC 77 grain uh, ammunition. The problem was his was the uh, Sierra Match King bullets. So that really threw off the dope on 
this uh, particular setup. So instead of using the 300 yard hash mark, um, the 300 yard crosshair, I was now using the 400 yard crosshair at 300 yards. So really adjusted my point of aim, point of impact, just switching from the OTBs to the Sierra Match Kings. However, once I was able to get that stupid mover uh, out of the way, I was no problem on 400, 500 was uh, not that big of a problem. I kind of struggled at 550 yards, but the thing that really blew me away was being able to understand how to adjust on the fly with this particular optic. And I was able to just hold over just ever so slightly on 600 yards and got a first round impact at 600 yards. Most of the time when you get a chance to do a reshoot, it doesn't go as well as you would expect, but it did for me and I just was elated that I was able to get through the match and clear that stage. I was really worried about that stage and how this particular setup would work. It worked great. I just cannot tell you how excited I was and uh, how happy I was that I stuck with this through both days. I had thought about giving up the SAM-5 and running the 103, but I stuck with it and I'm glad I did. The magnification on it really helped out as well. Three power doesn't sound very much, especially at 600 yards, but it helped quite a bit for uh, what I was able to accomplish. So in conclusion, the micro prism is a really good uh, option for a lot of different applications. Especially in this two gun match, I did struggle when it came to shooting those close targets, but ultimately that is on me, not on the uh, reticle itself. I need a little bit more time to understand how to quickly uh, negotiate targets at close ranges, and I think that I can do that. One of the areas that I really think that this particular setup shines is not only in the fixed three powered, but also the ACSS Raptor reticle, if I can even say that, um, is that you are constantly getting data into what you're doing in a particular stage, whether it's shooting uh, close targets or shooting long range, you are able to take that information and apply it as you go. It's incredibly intuitive is what I'm trying to say to use that on the fly. So if you need to make adjustments, if you are not shooting as well as you think you are, you can make adjustments along the way and it will improve. Going from placing 61st on Saturday to 23rd on Sunday was a marked improvement because I was able to take what I learned from Saturday and apply it on Sunday. And man, let me tell you, I was blown away at how well I was able to improve. Coming in top 25%, breaking that 25 mark uh, and even coming in top 15 in my division, placing 14th. Uh, I was very, very happy with all of that. So there you guys have it, the primary arms micro prism on the SAM-5. It is uh, really super cool. And I'm going to have some um, interesting things happening here over the next couple of months when it comes to 5.56 AKs. I've got another one inbound right now, so we're going to be looking at a new 5.56 AK, and there might be something special in store on a second 5.56 AK. We'll see here if I can get my schedules lined up. We'll talk about that later. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate everybody's support. Let me know what you guys think. That sound off in the comment section down below. If you could do an AK, would 5.56 be the way that you would go? Or would you just stick to 7.62 by 39 or 5.45 by 39? Let me know, sound off in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. With all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much. We will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. See you guys later. Bye y'all.